Hi, and welcome to the Vintage Read Show. I have got the best vintage movie mag haul. I can't believe it. I managed to snap up a whole heap of movie mags, vintage movie mags from 1945 through to 1959. Now, I, they only arrived today, so I haven't had a chance to really have a look and get in and find all the really juicy bits for you to show you. But I just quickly grabbed five and I wanted to very excitedly show you as quickly as I could. Now, one thing I thought that was really funny was a lot of the magazines have real stars on the cover. So they've got James Mans Jane Mansfield or Clark Gable or someone that you know, you know, a real, real movie star. But some of the covers, you think that it's someone significant, but it's not. Have a look at this. Tell me if you think that is someone familiar. I thought it was Marilyn too, but it's not. It's Barbara Lang. And I don't know who Barbara Lang is, but she looks a lot like Marilyn. But there's heaps of movie stars and heaps of um, latest release films and wonderful ads for the, for the release of films and um, fashion and cosmetics and all that of the day. But they're just wonderful. I can't wait to properly show you inside. But even on the front cover of this one, they're saying, I'll never go back to Hollywood, says Ingrid Bergman. So there's, you know, there's so much to share with you in here. Here's another one just quickly. This is March 20th, 1954. And this is Deborah Kerr and James Mason on the cover of that one. And oh, this one is a blockbuster edition. It's October the 5th, 1957. And it's got inside Frank Sinatra, Jane Mansfield, Elvis Presley, Kim Novak, Pat Boone, Sophia Loren and Diana Dawes. So that is a really big issue, isn't it? But what was significant for me as soon as I saw it was the actress on the cover of that magazine. That is Kay Kendall. And Kay Kendall was famous for starring in the movie Genevieve. And when I was a little girl, uh, about six, I got to sit in the car. So the, the movie, Genevieve was a car in the movie. I got to sit in the actual car that was in the movie. And I remember the photo. I had my brother on one side and my sister on the other. And uh, I can't find it, but you'll just have to take my word for it because I really did. But there's something else about this one, Kay Kendall. She had such an interesting journey, a sad journey. In 1955, she met Rex Harrison of My Fair Lady fame. And they were actually starred in a movie together and they fell in love. Now, by 1957, they were married. And I remember reading in the Noel Coward Diaries about Kay, Kay Kendall, being quite ill. And it sort of unfolded a bit in the, in the Noel Coward Diaries. And I remember he said he went around to see Rex Harrison after a performance. Now, I'm guessing here, but I think it was My Fair Lady on the West End. And uh, they were, you know, everyone was very sad and concerned because Kay was so ill. Now, Rex Harrison made the decision to not tell Kay Kendall that she had leukemia. So she was under the impression that she just had a severe iron deficiency and that's why she wasn't feeling well. So that is a one hell of a story, isn't it? And very sad, but there she was. So when she was on the cover of this magazine, she only had a few years left to live which makes it all the more special and all the more poignant, I think. And moving on to slightly happier notes, this one is quite funny. Now, this edition is June the 1st, 1957, and it's got a big thing on the front, Hollywood men and their morals. Okay, so as we delve in to Hollywood men and their morals... We read an article basically defending their honour, saying that they are easy fodder for gossip columnists and that in actual fact, although they have the reputation for being wolves and playboys, 
They are people of high moral fortitude, didn't you know? And they take their responsibility very seriously to conduct themselves in a seemly manner. And so this was obviously a publicist writing, <laughs> trying to improve the reputation of Hollywood and really going hard at it too. So that article was very funny. I, like I said, I will delve into them. I've got over 30 of these now. I'm going to delve in. I'm going to get some really good juicy gossip. In these magazines, they also have um, the ads for the releases of latest movies. I think I might have already said that, but I'm saying it again. And that is amazing because you can have a movie that you love and you can see the actual ad for when it's coming out, the pre-release, you know, getting everyone excited about the movie. And so that's scattered through all these magazines as well as some pretty good gossip columns. And um, of course, fashion, cosmetics, things of the day. So I can't wait to share more of this with you. And until I see you next time, enjoy your vintage reads. Bye.